Hi, everybody. Welcome, and thank you for joining me at Small Business Mastermind. My name is Robin Norgren with JosiesArtSchool.com. I'm a business coach, and I've also developed a program that is a business-in-a-box model where you can teach art classes to kids. So this is part of the series of that program, and I invite you to join in and, um, and leave any comments if you have any questions that you'd like me to answer. All right, so today's question is, what do you do to keep yourself excited about your own business, right? And so um, I have a few different ways that I do that because, you know, to be honest, um, it is a hustle to have your own business. Like there is no way you can get away from that. Um, it's difficult sometimes because you can get kind of I don't know, blinded by what is seen in photos around the internet that make you think that business life is so easy. And um, it's not easy. It's not easy, but it is incredibly rewarding. What I like about what I do, and mostly what I do is on top of just learning about business and growing with my business and um, taking it um, to new milestones um, and sharing my business knowledge um, through the program Josie's Art School, as well as I continue to teach art classes because that is my passion, to teach art to children. So for me, when I start to feel a little bit drained or run down, um, what I will do is I will put a new goal in front of me. So for example, um, I will uh, take a time maybe away from teaching the classes per se or putting all my energy in there. And I'll spend one afternoon just turning on some music and then just making my own art. Um, this is actually one of the art pieces that I'm working on right now. Um, and I find that as I continue to tap into my own creativity, I am reminded um, why it is that I do this, why it is that I love what I do. Um, it's no secret that um, you get a business idea and then the reality is that you spend the majority of that time selling, pitching it. Um, and my program definitely gives you the shortcuts to do it, but it's still the work that you have to do. And, you know, you can um, apply that to working through my program or through any other business uh, that you're working through. Um, you have to do the hustle of it. And um, short of um, relying on family members and friends to help you or constantly spamming, uh, there is a long game that comes with having your own business, which means that you are building relationships, you're reminding people that you're out there. You're also giving them different sides of who you are. And so when that time comes where it is almost kismet, where they're looking for someone and you are available, that you get that business, uh, plain and simple. Um, I had a situation just last week where um, I was on LinkedIn and I um, had posted something about what I was doing through Josie's Art School. And, and a boss that I had over... Uh, 10 years ago, connects with me and, say, and, and invites me to coffee because he wants to hear what it is that I'm doing and he's interested in what I'm doing. So those are the type of things um, that, that keep you passionate because you're true to what it is that you want to do in the business. Um, every business, I think, takes on the personality of the owner and you just uh, be, so, so um, cliche, but authentic to this is why I do the work that I do. That it does, in a sense, you become your business. It has your flavor, your vibe, your personality, and that uh, is actually a blessing in disguise because it helps you say, stay um, excited about you, about yourself, and about your business. So uh, I hope that helps. Uh, if you have any questions, please make sure and put it in the comments here on YouTube, and I would be more than happy to answer them on a future episode. All right, we'll see you next time.